evening, guys. Apparently my signal is not strong enough back here in the bathroom to do a Facebook Live. So I'm just going ahead and recording a video and you guys can see what my morning facial routine is since I've had so many people ask what I do that's natural for my face. So obviously I have no makeup on right now. I just got out of bed and got dressed and I have a little tiny zit right here. And this is actually a leftover one from a few days ago and it's fading and it's almost gone. So that is the state of my face right now. But other than that, um, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't have any breakouts. I don't have any wrinkles. Um, so let's see what I do every morning. Okay, so this is my morning facial routine. Let me, uh, let's see. Is this not gonna let me flip the camera around during video? It will not let me. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my phone around and show you. Yeah, that's weird. I thought I could flip the camera. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna flip this around and show you. So this is my little tray here by the sink. And I have, um, this says linen spray, but it's not. This is a salt spray that I use for my hair. I have the Art um, Light Moisturizer, the Facial, facial Cleanser, um, and then I have my homemade facial toner and some different oils here and a beautiful perfume blend from Deborah Rayburn. And this is what we use for deodorant. This is the toothpaste, the Thieves toothpaste. Works amazing as deodorant. If you have not tried it yet, you must. Works amazing. And of course, all natural, no toxins, no aluminum, no nasty things that are going to soak into your armpits and give you breast cancer. Okay, so this is what I do for my face. So every morning, <clears throat> I take I don't wash my face usually first thing in the morning unless I have worn makeup. The only time I wash my face with cleanser is if I've worn makeup during the day and then at night I will wash it with this um, Art Light uh, Gentle Cleanser. That's the only time I ever wash my face. And so in the morning when I wake up, I just take a cotton pad and I take my homemade facial toner and there's a recipe for this in the wellness group. I also did a live video on it a while back, so you may be able to search and find it, look in my videos and you can find it. Um, but I just shake it up because it does have oils in it and they will separate. So I just do it a quick shake, take the lid off, <clears throat> take my cotton pad and just put it on the top in a few places, get it on there. And then I just wipe it all over my face and I make sure to get, you know, the places where I tend to get sweaty or greasy or whatever so I just get all those spots all over my face and it feels so cool and refreshing because mm, I put certain oils in there that I like so like I might put peppermint in there or lavender or frankincense I always have frankincense in there wonderful for skin evening skin tone and wrinkles and discoloration that kind of stuff so I do that <clears throat> and then I just check it and usually I can see a little bit of dirt and grime on there and that's all I do for washing my face. It doesn't strip my skin. It doesn't strip the oils, the natural oils off my skin. And it balances the pH in my skin. So all day my skin is, it doesn't get really dry or really oily. It just kind of maintains. And then after I do that, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I mean, that sounds like super easy, but that is my facial routine. It is so easy. And then like today, if I have a little tiny zit coming up right there, and this is a leftover one right here, the, I always keep these oils by my sink. This is frankincense, and frankincense is amazing for discoloration, spots, things like that. So I just put a little tiny dab on my finger, and I dab on any spots where I see redness or anything, and I just rub it in. And this right here, you, you can probably even hardly see it now, was a big zit. I mean, a zit with all of the... Um, Everything. I mean, the bump and the ew and yeah, nasty. And it's almost completely gone and you can't even hardly tell that it was there. Like just a tiny, tiny little red spot. And that is this. And this was maybe three days ago that it was like that. So the frankincense will, um, once the zit has kind of, kind of is done and is ready to go away, the, and the tea tree is really good for that, the frankincense is good for getting rid of the leftover pigmentation. And then I also love, love, love um, Manuka. Manuka is amazing for skin. Look it up in your reference guide. 
Again, I just put a little bit on my finger and dab it on those spots. And then I also like to take, I forgot what the frankincense, but I usually take the frankincense after I've dabbed it on the spots. And there are two little places where I tend to get, like right there, tend to get little creases. And so I always rub the um, manuka and the frankincense right in those two little spots because those are the only spots um, as of now, I know it will get more, but as of right now, those are the only spots that I have little creases starting. So I put, put it there and I can definitely tell if I go a while and I do not put any oils on because <clears throat> those creases are more prominent. If I remember, then you can't tell really that I even have anything there. And then this, of course, is myrrh. And frankincense and myrrh, I mean, you think about the, the two of them together. They've been used together historically, and myrrh historically has been used in beauty preparations for thousands of years, back to the days of the pharaohs and um, the ancient queens of Egypt. And I say, if it's good enough for an Egyptian queen, it's good enough for me. So I rub it all over those little creasy areas and my little zits. And as you can see, and any, anywhere else, you know, just don't put it in your eyes. <clears throat> but who would do that, right? Okay, common sense, y'all. Common sense. Okay, that's it. And as you can see, I didn't use carrier oil. I didn't dilute any of those. I just applied them all neat. Neat, which means undiluted. And that's it. Super easy, super simple. I'm done in two minutes. I can run out and chase my kids and make coffee. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.